Once you create a decision tree, you will probably want to focus on the optimal strategy. You might also want to see how much better the optimal strategy is than other strategies in terms of expected payoffs. Precision Tree's Policy Suggestion tool lets you do this very easily. It shows you the only parts of the tree you will ever see if you follow the optimal strategy, and it provides a decision table that lists how much better the optimal decision is at each decision point than the worst decision or the second best decision. I will use two examples from the Precision Tree Examples list to illustrate the policy suggestion feature. The first is the oil drilling example, where an oil company must first decide whether to run an expensive test for the presence of oil, and then must ultimately decide whether to drill for oil. Here is the completed tree. Although you can follow the true labels to see the optimal strategy, there is a lot going on here, and it is easy to get lost in the details. To see the optimal strategy more clearly, Select Policy Suggestion from the Decision Analysis drop-down list on the Precision Tree ribbon and click OK to accept the defaults in the resulting dialog box. By choosing Entire Model in the Starting Node box, you will see the entire tree except for the branches that would never be visited when using the optimal strategy. However, note that you could select a different starting node somewhere in the middle of the tree. Then you would see the tree only from that node to the right, again with non-optimal branches deleted. When you click OK, you see two new worksheets, Decision Table and Optimal Tree. The Decision Table has a row for each decision in the Optimal Tree, this tree. If there is a decision node in the original tree that is never visited when using the Optimal Strategy, it is not listed in the decision table. There is one such node here. This one. The decision on whether to drill if no test is performed. Because the test is performed, this decision node isn't listed in the decision table because it will never be visited. The decision table also lists the optimal decision at each decision node the probability of ever getting to that decision node, and the difference in expected payoff between the best decision and the worst decision, or the best and the second best. In this example, there are only two branches from each decision node, so worst and second best are identical. These differences have the obvious benefit that they show the decision maker how much more he can expect to make by acting optimally. However, they also have a more subtle benefit. Remember that this is called a policy suggestion. If the difference between the best and second best, say, is a very small dollar amount, the decision maker might decide to go with the second best decision, or even some other decision, based on other non-monetary criteria knowing that it won't make much difference in terms of expected payoff. The optimal tree shows only the part of the tree that might ever be visited when using the optimal strategy. Of course, the decision maker has no control over which chance outcomes will occur, so the corresponding chance branches can't be eliminated as possibilities. For example, after the test is run, the results might be any of the three oil indications. So all of these have to be included in the optimal tree. But then, if the test indicates a dry well, there is no need for any further chance branches because the optimal decision is to not drill. I will finish this video by taking a brief look at the American put option example with a duration of three days. Here is the completed tree. It is obviously very large and difficult to digest. In this case, a policy suggestion really helps. There's the decision table. There's the optimal tree. It's still fairly large. As you can see, both the decision table and the optimal tree indicate that there are many times where the decision maker might have to make a decision. It all depends on the uncertain stock price changes. These are all possibilities.
However, both the table and the tree spell out the optimal contingency plan nicely, whether or not to exercise the option at each decision point.